I got this old McCulloch chainsaw for 10 bucks. Let's see if we can get it running. So super quick overview of this saw. This is a late 80s McCulloch Pro Max 605. It is a 3.4 cubic inch saw, which is a 58 cc. These McCulloughs were uh, started production in 1985 and then they quit making the 605 in around 1994. They run off of a 40 to one mixture for your two stroke gas. Right up front here is where you would add your bar and chain oil. This right now is running a 20 inch bar, but this 58 cc power head is able to run up to a 24 inch bar and chain. These are very reliable and sturdy uh, saws. They're not the fastest cutters or anything, but they are reliable. The one complaint that everybody has about these old McCulloughs is that they are very heavy. I'm not sure on the exact weight, but it does feel like a big brick. And then as for operation, here's your manual oiler, on off switch, choke is right down there. All right, so like I said, I got this for $10. My wife and I were walking around a flea market and there was a sticky note on it, said 10 bucks. Guy said the engine wasn't locked up. And uh, obviously it was used fairly recently. So I did do a little pull on it. It's not locked up. Um, just looks like it's been a little used and abused. So first things first, we'll get it cleaned up and get the old gas out of here and clean up the air filter, check that we have spark, and then we'll see if it'll fire over. I don't know about you, but I think that looked pretty stale and pretty dirty. Honestly, with how that looked, I'll probably give it a good rinse and a flush with some clean gas, dump that out before I put the real stuff in. So the air filter is pretty dirty, not a whole lot's getting through it or anything, uh, so we'll clean this up. Inside of here is a little dirty, but it doesn't look too bad. Maybe clean it up a little bit. That's kind of a neat design. Chain brake just comes off with the casing. And she is gummed up in there. Looks like they were mowing down a field with this thing. No worries, we'll get her cleaned up and running in no time. I'm not gonna bore you guys by making you watch me clean this up. As you can see, it is super caked and it's just got years and years of barn chain oil and sawdust and all sorts of other junk in here. So I'm gonna clean it up quick and this is what it looks like now. So as you can see, clearly it's much cleaner, almost brand new. Um, and while I was at it, I forgot to hit the record button, but I figured while I'm in here, might as well replace the fuel filter. So to get these out, you can use a pick um, but I like using this little grabber because it actually has a light on the end also, so it's really easy to see inside the fuel tank 
and grab it out of there. Plus, while you're changing this, you have something to hold the fuel line up out of there so you don't have to fish it back out. The old one doesn't look too bad. Um, while actually holding it up to the new one, it looks really bad, but this would have worked for a little while longer anyway. So I'll just get this squeezed back into there. All right, that should do her. So we'll just pop her back in and then I'll use my little light on the end of this to make sure she's set. Laying on the bottom of the tank, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is swish around some new fuel in here to kind of rinse out the old gunk because it looked pretty musty. And I'm not gonna use a lot or anything. Just enough to kind of swish around and flush it out. Obviously I'm gonna clean up my little bit of a mess around here because I just spent about an hour and a half getting it all cleaned up. And really now that I'm thinking about it, what I could have done was swish it around before changing the fuel filter. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna make a huge deal though. All right, so I'm gonna dump this back into my waste tray and then we'll throw some fresh fuel in and it will be good to go. And so when I dumped that fuel out, it actually came out pretty clean, which I'm surprised. So definitely not a bad thing. I don't know what you guys think, but this is a night and day difference from how I got it. Everything runs a lot smoother. Chain brake works. Throttle safety switch works. I think the only thing left to do is check for, actually, I'm not even gonna check for spark. I'm gonna throw some nice clean gas in here. I clean the air filter and let's see if it fires up. If not, we'll check for spark. And I'll also check the recoil because it gets a little bit loose. Might need to do a little bit of maintenance to that. But let's try to fire it up first. All right, so I'm expecting to have to pull on this thing for a little while, so bear with me here. We'll see how she goes. something out of her. Do the throttle lock. She, while she fires up, go for round two. Do 
do some carburetor adjustments and we'll be good to go. All right, so that's pretty crazy. I barely had to do any work to this thing at all. I cleaned out the fuel tank, changed the fuel filter, and cleaned it up. And this $10 chainsaw actually runs. I was actually impressed with how easily it started. Granted, I pulled on it a good 10 or 11 times before it did fire. But for 10 bucks, you really can't beat that. I think that's all that's left is to do some minor adjustments on the carb to get it to idle and run a little bit smoother and we should be good to go. So if you guys are impressed by this deal that I got, please throw a thumbs up on this video, that'd be awesome. Also, let me know in the comments below if you've gotten some kind of crazy deal before on equipment or tools or anything. Um, $10 for a running operational chainsaw is probably the best deal that I've ever come across. So share yours down below. And if you like this video, consider subscribing to Midwest Garage. I cover a lot of automotive how-tos, project restoration vehicles, as well as pretty much anything that the average guy has in their garage, whether it's four-wheelers, vehicles, snowblowers, chainsaws, you name it. Pretty much cover everything. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.